Samida, Om Shanti, peace to you, peace to me. Hello and welcome to another video. My name is Peter and today I want to talk about appreciate the hard work that people have done during the lockdown period. So appreciate the hard work. Many people have stretched out, gone beyond their capabilities or what they thought their capabilities were to actually try and help other people during this lockdown period. They've made attempts to reach out to other people, but so take a moment and smile at them. If you meet somebody who's actually trying to make a difference to other people's lives, what, irrespective of what you feel about what this lockdown is, I personally think it's a contrived affair with a paint and put on the virus and this draconian law coming in, both in, in many Western countries, where you, your freedom's gone, literally gone. <laughs> so whether you feel that or not it's okay it's fine you've got different difference of opinion it's just i would say research a little bit more than you see the answers but appreciate what people have done during this period they're hard work really hard work it's really hard work especially i've seen in the charity sector uh, people have really gone out their way to try and be inclusive especially in the in the elderly which is what i deal with and they've got, and they go out and they, they visit and they phone call every day now. People phone calling the elderly, the isolated elderly in, in, in their areas. And even when it came down to me, I decided to keep my Qigong classes going online and I, I put them online for everybody to benefit from now, rather than just myself, uh, because I used to do quite a lot of work with the elderly before this lockdown happened. And now that whole lockdown happened and it's just wiped out all of those classes just they've just gone so I've taken them online it's, it's nowhere near as impactful online as it is when you're doing it all together because you're feeling the energies of each other but I've taken it online and there, there's been times where a few of the groups that I work with have actually got funded to get these little iPads so they can take them to the houses so they can tune into the classes and still keep their health and well-being going and, a, and there was a picture of a 94 year old actually on an iPod doing a Qigong. Ooh. So I'm so, I get goosebumps even talking about it. It's so amazing what some people are still doing to try and keep their charities going. And these are, are tiny charities, the smaller charities, the ground level charities that are happening. And it's been hard on everybody. But the people who are still working behind the scenes to keep society moving, give them some appreciation. If you have no money, that's fine, but give them some appreciation. Let them know that you feel they're doing a brilliant job. Whether you're doing a brilliant job or not, it doesn't matter. Show appreciation to them, because that's part of it. It's all, all of this life is energy exchange. That's where money was created to make it easier to exchange your energy. So somebody come and fix the roof, for instance, on the house, I would, rather than giving them like a free Qigong session or a sound healing session or go out there and mow their lawn or whatever, I would give them money because it's an exchange, it's a fair exchange and I would have to go and find that money somewhere else which would be an energy so I'd give my services to other people and in exchange I would get money for that, that's how the energy circulates and it needs to be the same as with people and we seem to have lost that people going out there and really working their, their, their hearts out to keep especially the elderly and the more vulnerable in our society going keep them going and hats off to them hats off to them I think it's amazing and we should really appreciate their hard work it's it's a very difficult time for so many different people and it's been a shake-up in our world a massive shake-up and it's helped me to reevaluate what do I want to do actually? How can I serve more people rather than how can I carry on making a living out of what I do? How can I serve more people in, in what, I, what I do and what I have talent for and what I need to work on and what skills I need to develop to help more people, serve more people, get people to think it was Socrates. He said, I can't, he said, I can't teach you anything, but if I, make you to, if, if I can make you think then I've done my job properly. And that's a very wise man speaking there. So it's not really about teaching you something. It's about getting you to think, getting us all to think 
outside the box, expand our consciousness into thinking, actually I do want to show my appreciation to those people. As I say, it doesn't have to be financial, it can be just simple words. So become proactive, look for things that you can show your appreciation for, especially in this lockdown right now. There's many, many things happening in the background that where people are still trying even with this social distancing, the oxymoron of social distancing, there's nothing social about distancing yourself from another human being. To be social is to be with each other. Be with each other, not being distant. It's being with each other. So we seem to have accepted this social distancing term as an oxymoron that it is. And people are trying to work around that. So the appreciation of you Showing it to the people who are actually working in this lockdown period is, is of utmost importance. Utmost importance. I feel the way that this has all played out, it's been an enormous attack on the alternative health and well-being sector of our society. The deal with getting groups of people together and get them healthy. That's what it's all about. Really, at the end of the day, that's what, what the philosophy of, of the Tao is that we, especially the one that I teach from South Korea by Ilchi Lee, is, is what's good for me is good for you also. It's based on Hong Ik. So you're sharing your energy with other people and they're sharing their energy back with you. That is so difficult to do it online. Very, very difficult to do it online. So we're doing our best to try and keep that going with, within our, the people who've connected with us in the local area. And we're doing our best to keep contact with all friends and companies and institutions that we've contacted around the local area to stay in contact with them. Because this could go on for a long, 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 long time. A long, 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 long time. And no let up. It, it could go on for ages before we can actually get back to having the community centres open and free again. Because we're not free anymore. Human beings are not free. Get that straight in your head, we're not free. And you need to do a little bit more research into what's happening behind the scenes to see why that has happened. And it's been happening for a very, very long time, incrementally, just slowly, drip, drip, drip. And it's here now, So, and it will get worse unless we stand up and actually say something about it. But that's a different topic altogether. My point with this is really, just really show your appreciation to people who are doing their, their, their best work now under stress, enormous adversity and challenges that you would not believe. And they're doing their best to try and keep this society moving and keep the elderly from being isolated, trying to keep their health and well-being up, trying to keep them feeling included in this society. Because I know from all the work that I've done around the elderly community centres, they feel like they've been put on the scrap heap. Many of them feel like they've been put on the scrap heap. They feel like they've just been chucked out of society. And my goodness, is that dangerous? Is that dangerous? If you look at the indigenous tribes across the world, and you look at, they call them the chiefs, and then the elders. And the chiefs always went to the elders for parlay, for talking, to actually get the wisdom from the elders to come down into their chiefs and then down into the tribe so you had layers and you had that, that would give you safeguarding now uh, we're, we're throwing our elderly onto the scrap heap you've had this knowledge and wisdom of living a life and actually they'll be able to tell you what's exactly wrong with it. <laughs> tell you damn straight they'll tell you bang this is what's happening and I have some amazing conversations with them. I do miss them. I do miss those conversations because they see what I'm seeing and they see what many other people are starting to see. More visionary action needs to be taken for human beings to climb out of this mess that we're in. But in the meantime, while we're still in this position, just show appreciation for those wonderful, wonderful, big hearted people who are going out there and helping other people during this very, very difficult time. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Sarang Hamida.